Hi everyone, my name is Tolani, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to solve no video editing video playback issue so you can have smooth video playback in real time. So, without further ado, let's dive in. No video editing app is the best video editing app ever that approaches editing just like Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro CC will do. But due to is always demand for iRAM to run smoothly, make it very difficult to have smooth video preview in real time while editing. So in this video, I'm going to show you what to do to boost your video playback speed in real time when using no video editing app for your edits. So without further ado, let's dive in. So now we're on the node video editing app. First thing you want to do is to create a new composition by coming to your project settings and set your project setting properly so you're not going to be having issue with the playback speed in real time time and as well in export mode. So what you want to do is you want to set this to full HD. So this depends on your phone spec. You don't want to stretch out your phone system too much to work on high ultra which will make the app always crash so you want to make sure that you know the spec of your phone the capacity that the phone can hold when it comes to resolutions so if you know that you run a low spec phone just make sure you set this to maybe hd but if you are running i i ram phones you can set it to full hd just like this so your fps which is frame per seconds you can set it at 30 or you can leave it at 24 or 60 frame depending on the project order so the one we're going to be paying most attention on because this really has huge impact on the video playback speed is the preview resolutions which is this which i'm going to be explaining once i import video into the world into the window being right here so then the preview ready mode you can check on my channel i have a tutorial that shows you the best settings you need to set to have a smooth video playback so i haven't said this what you want to do next is to come down to this place this add layer right here to import the video you want to edit so i'm going to be clicking on this plus icon right here then go to my media then video then you're going to take it to your phone where you store the video so i'm going to be using this clip right here so now here is the video right here as you can see so when i play this video it's gonna be what it's gonna be lagging you understand it's not gonna play in this real time let me detach the audio i think it has an audio so i don't want the audio in there So now when we play this video it's gonna be it's not going to be playing the video in real time can you see the video is kind of skipping or it's kind of not playing in real time so we want to fix this issue so we can have fast video playback in its real time so for your video to have smooth video playback in its real time you need to know this if you are using video export from other app you want to make sure that they are not export with 4k high quality video because this might affect the video playback the next one you need to note is that, is that if your project has 4k quality video you want to make sure that they are not overlap each other in this timeline right here because this also can have huge impact in the video playback so having known all this what you want to do now is you want to know the information of this clip right here to know the quality so you can know what to so you can know what step to do so what you want to do is you click on this steady line right here and go to order then you go to this information right here so you're going to tell you the information of this clip right here all the information about the clip so as you can see this video has is coded as as 264 which is high then it shoots in 60 frame and it is shot in almost close to 4k which is high resolutions then as you can see right here the size of the file is almost 58.0 megabytes which is high so what we want to do with this is that now i know the information of this clip right here so for me to have that smooth video playback and i don't want to have this kind of hanging stuff like that so what i'm going to be doing is to hit on this route right here and come to this aspect right here so this is where i'm going to be explaining the meaning of this preview ready mode so what this does is that as you can look at this clip right here let me show you right here so when i change this preview rate to like 100 as you can see right here it's going to be having a high resolution preview because i'm going to be previewing this in high resolution so when i change it to about 10 can you see how choppy it look that is the function of preview resolution this preview resolution has nothing to do with the final output of the video resolution so this is just basically how you want to preview when you are editing this stuff how you want to see it maybe you want to look at it but for the sake of color grading you need to what set it as high resolution so you can preview the the 
color profile how it look on the clips you can leave it at 100 or 50 when you are doing color grading but when you are editing you don't want to have issue with the video playback so you can leave it at 25 25 is pretty okay can you see so this is how you can do that so when i play it all i'm going to be having is is nice smooth compared to before so when i reduce it to like 10 so as you can see the speed is a little bit different from when i when i put it at 25 so having put in all this and you are still having the issue with the playback so what you want to do next is to come down to this video click on the video itself then come to this straight line right here then go down to this aspect right here that said order click on the order then you want to see this option that say prefetch what this privilege does is that it's it's help you as you can see you can read this up on your own but let me try to explain this for you what this privilege does is that it it boosts the what the preview speed whereby it now allow you to what to have a smooth video playback in its real time so we want to want to load this prefetch onto your clip so to boost the what the preview rendering mode faster so once this is going on you want to just give it a a couple of minutes it's going to run this prefetch onto the onto the clips but if you are in ori you can minimize it by saving it right here it's still going to be running on the clip so you're going to be seeing this symbol right here it sticks telling you that this is running on the clip so when i go back into this as well when i go back to prefetch again as you can see it's still loading on the clips because you can just click on it to, to also continue so i don't want this video to be long i want to what minimize it by just saving it so now having this prefetch running on the clip so when i play this video back you're going to be seeing how fast it's going to be moving compared to the previous so let me show you in a wide window right here so when i play it up can you see how speed is moving right now compared to the previous can you see how speed is the playback moving right now it's going to be moving faster compared to the previous compared to the previous playback we've seen in the previous so this is how you set the the preview rendering mode the reason why it's going to be doing like this is because the prefetch hasn't what hasn't finished hasn't finished preloading on the clip so you want to give it a time so you can preview so you can load it finish and you're going to see it's going to write finish right here so once it's finished you can click on save so because i don't want this video to be long that's why i need to just speed it up so you can try that on your own so you're gonna be what having a nice smooth video playback so this is how you can solve the video playback issue using node video editing app so hope you guys gain value out of this video if you did please be sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing for more be sure to check out my free node video editing lot pack and into templates i put the link in the video description so and as always i will see you in the next video have a great day and be blessed. Bye for now.